Hello friends, so today we are studying about pectoralis major. We will study its origin, insertion, nerve supply, its actions and its applied anatomy. So origin, it has two heads, clavicular head and sternocostal head. Clavicular head, as the name suggests, it's or, it originates from the clavicle. It originates from the medial half of the clavicle, its anterior aspect. So this is the clavicular head sternocostal head as its name suggests it arises from the sternum and the costal cartilages it arises from the lateral half of the sternum its anterior aspect and costal cartilages it arises from second to sixth costal cartilages and also from the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle so this is the aponeurosis of external oblique muscle so these are its origin and insertion so both the heads will move backwards and will get inserted onto the lateral lip of bicipital group. So we can remember its insertion by this mnemonic, lady between the two majors. So lady, lady is the latissimus dorsi which is inserted into the bicipital group and the two majors are pectoralis major and teres major. The pectoralis major is inserted into the lateral lip of the bicipital group whereas the teres major is inserted into the medial lip of the bicipital group. Nerve supply, its nerve supply is lateral and medial pectoral nerve. So lateral pectoral nerve has a root value of C5 to C7 and medial pectoral nerve has a root value of C8 and T1. Actions. So the actions of clavicular head and sternocostal head are different. The clavicular head will help in flexion of the arm whereas the sternocostal head will adduct and medially rotate the arm. Uh, applied anatomy. So sometimes a part of pectoralis major, mostly the sternocostal part would be absent. So this will lead to weakness in, weakness in adduction and medial rotation of the arm. So this is all about pectoralis major. Thank you.